I'm going to walk through building a super simple find it searching game that I creatively named find it. And it's just meant as a starter, right? You can do a ton of things with this type of game. This is going to launch you and then you can make everything you want out of it. All right, let's go to design. There's only a few things I'm going to add because again, this isn't some huge complicated thing. It's to demo stuff you can do. So I need two images here. I need one button here and then I'm going to need one more image. And then with that, now I just need a label here. All right. Our label, you should always name these. So I'll say title label, and then I'm going to put the name of the game, find it. <laughs> I'm so creative. Uh, not super worried about this type of stuff. I can blow up the font, I guess. Cool. Boom. All right. Now the I, uh, yeah, the images, I'm going to say, I'll call this card two. And let's look, I'm going to use their icons again. Uh, what's going to be our card? Oh, I guess we'll use a book. Actually, let's just use a square. Okay. And yeah, that will be fine. Um, I mean, I could give it some color. Sure. And then same thing here icon. I'm going to use this square again, give it some random colorish thing. Great. And right here. Oh, I made that one a bit bigger. Okay. And now, now let's grab this and this is going to be what they're looking for. Kind of like three cups or something and you put a ball under it. So I was going to use a bug because bugs are bad in computer programming. Boom. Endlessly creative. Certainly am 30 and 30. Maybe that might even be too small. We could do 50 and 50. All right. So what's going to happen here is our button. Oh, start, start BPN. And then let's use, I'm just going to call this find me. Okay. So start. Once the player clicks start, we want the bug to hide. So let's start with that on event. On the event that the player clicks on the start button. So on the event that the start button has been clicked, what do you want to have it happen? Well, we want our bug to hide. So what's this? Find me. <laughs> um, I want to set the property of find me to, I should have named both of these, card one, that should be card one. Okay, to set property, find me, x is going to be equal to, oh, let's actually, before we do that, let's hide the button because we don't want them to restart the game. So start button, hidden, True. And now just to show you what this will do, I'm going to run, start. And now if they click, it's not going to be able to restart the game. All right. Now, what we want to have happen is when they click on this button, we need the bug to go to one of these two, right? And so to make that happen, we're going to do a random. So math, random number. Yes. So let's do this. And if Let's do a var. Okay. I'm going to put var x math random number 0 to 10. I want to do like 0 to 2 or 1 to 2. Um, I'm going to call this num for number. So now I'm going to use a control my if. So if num is equal equal because I want a chance for both is equal equal to one. If it's equal to one, we'll have it go to blue. If it else, it will just go to two. Okay. So if it's equal to one, we're going to say, and you know what we can do too, to make our lives easier. We're just going to change the X. So if I put the bug like right here, we can just adjust X and not have to worry about Y because it's in line with these. So let's do a UI set property. 
find me x and what are we going to set it to not to a number we're actually going to set it to a get property yep you can do this card one x so we're going to set it to be equal to that and to make my life easier and possibly yours i'm just going to grab this line i'm going to right click and hit copy i'm going to click down here be careful with this it leads to mistakes though you got to make sure that for this i have to change this to card two for it to be working properly yes okay all right now let's make it so when i click on one of these they need to disappear so i can see if the bug is there so on event on event card one card two click click hidden i mean set property set property hidden true so let's just test all this see what i've messed up start oh well that's a conundrum ah so this x is 170 this x is 130 ah so that is the x for it what we're gonna do then make the bug bigger we could let's see oh it does have some edge now what we're gonna do is to make sure this bug hides for us is we are going to oh one we should put this in the back right so for depth i'm gonna hit this meaning go all the way to the back and so instead of just go to their x let's i'm gonna go in here we want to go get property blah 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 right but we also want to add i don't know 30 to this because its x value is on the corner and the bug is smaller so let's check this out there we go all right and now i had that messed up card one card one yeah right here and then start boom click disappears we find it and if we we could have it now if we find it to say you win right so to do that what i would say is this we could use a boolean value or a var uh let's do var because if you put 10 squares bug location right is equal to zero and so i'll call this location one here so bug location equals one and this will be bug location equals two and then what we would do then is a set property on this nope these would need to be in ifs so if bug location right because i said card one right the first location is card one bug location equals equals one so if this is equal to one and they clicked on card one we want to set the property of title label text text to uh, I don't know, you win and then we're going to do or and we can even do an else honestly here i'm going to just copy and paste because it's faster we can do an else here too and so if it's not equal to that that means what well that means it's equal to the other thing and they lose you lose lose <laughs> sure and I'm going to copy and paste this guy. Just make sure you change everything over. It's a mistake I make a lot when I'm just copying and pasting. Copy and paste the whole thing now. And now if down here for card two, we need location two. And if it is bug location two, if they clicked on card two and it's bug location two, they win. All right, let's go ahead and hit run. You win. And of course I can center these and do all that. You win. You lose. So we also might want to freeze the game at this point. So once they click, you could do a set property hidden true for both of them. And that way they can't click on them after 
they have made a choice, right? So no matter what they click on, we hide both of them. And then I'm just copying and pasting the set property for each button. And so now set property, I could have put them together if I wanted. No matter what they click on, we hide both of them so they can't change their mind and they can't change their win. But uh kind of fun. Quick little intro to some of the things you can do in App Lab. And I'll actually share the code of this in the description. Also, if you're still watching this, make sure to hit like, make sure to hit subscribe. It gives me warm fuzzies, makes the world better, and all of that.